When you think of Florida's Gulf Coast, what do you think of? Fishing? Shopping? Family fun? As much a part of the Emerald Coast's emerald green water and sugary white sand is Florida's Gulfarium. The Emerald Coast and Florida's Gulfarium have grown together since the mid-1950s. It's hard to imagine one without the other. Florida's Gulfarium has entertained literally millions of visitors since 1955, and the best is yet to come. Hello, my name is Don Abrams, the general manager of Florida's Gulfarium. We're standing at the beginning. The tank behind me is where it all began in 1955. It took Mr. Cibonello around 11 months to develop this tank. The tank is actually made out of battleship steel from Mississippi. The tank itself floats. It's not attached to the building, so it makes it pretty amazing when it comes to uh, the engineering in 1955. The glass behind me um, is around a half inch thick and it holds back around 600,000 gallons. Hopefully some of our dolphins will swim up. This tank in the beginning was the Gulfarium and the Living Seas. We had both a dolphin show and a shark feeding demonstration. In 1956, we went on to build the Living Seas. But this tank, amazingly enough, 53 plus years is still standing. And there's one of our girls now, right behind me. Oh, there's two of them. And here comes the third. Hello, Ariel. All of the treasure is not on the white sands of the beach. A real treasure comes from the Gulf. This loot is a rare collection from the living sea found in the Gulfarium. In a huge half million gallon tank, specimens taken from nearby waters may be seen as they appear in their natural habitat. Glass portholes give the viewer an impression of actually being in the sea with the fish. Trained porpoises ring dinner bells and perform unbelievable stunts during regular daily shows. Seeing these intelligent air-breathing animals go through their paces is truly an education. They seem to smile all the time. Visitors see these porpoises jump over 16 feet out of the water to take a fish from the trainer's mouth. A precision feat no other creature known could perform. As a graduate student at the University of Miami Marine Laboratory, Brandy Siebenhaller began planning Florida's Gulfarium in the early 1950s. Mr. Siebenhaller was employed as a marine researcher soon after his graduate work and found the location for the Gulfarium while on a work trip. In 1954, Florida's Gulfarium was incorporated by 15 scientists at the University of Miami and 15 local residents. To date, the stockholders at Florida's Gulfarium are the same or their heirs as they were in 1954. In September of 1954, construction began at Florida's Gulfarium, and in August 1955, we opened to the public. Today, Florida's Gulfarium is the oldest continuously operated marine show aquarium in the world. Hello again. By now, you've seen a little history about Florida's Gulfarium, some black and white from the 1950s some up-to-date items as well. Earlier we were standing downstairs around the main tank, the beginning of the Gulfarium. One thing I failed to mention is Mr. Siebenel, our founder, was doing research across the street in Choctahatchee Bay when he looked across and saw the beautiful scenery you see behind me now. This is what it's all about. Florida's Gulfarium on 13 acres of beautiful beachfront property for your family to enjoy. The Gulfarium complex is situated on a large tract of Gulffront property on Okaloosa Island in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Our main dolphin pool contains approximately 600,000 gallons of water and is 75 feet in diameter. Depth at the center is 16 feet. The multi-species pool contains 114,000 gallons of water and measures 52 by 26 feet. There are additional pools and facility areas that add additional gallonage to the park. Florida's Gulfarium has the capacity of filtering all the water in the complex six times in a 24-hour period. Our star attraction, or rather attractions, feature numerous exhibit and show animals including sea lions, otters, and dolphins, the real stars here, as well as dozens of other animals, birds, reptiles, and much, much more. Our mission continues here, a mission committed to education and providing good, clean family fun. Experience Florida's Gulfarium. To learn more, visit us on the web at gulfarium.com.